stay focused and energized using G Fuel, you can use the discount code OGXRAYS to get 10% off your entire order. Yo guys, what's up? It's Xray. Welcome back to another Call of Duty World War II video. Now, in today's video, I actually wanted to do just with some information here from Michael Condry himself. He actually posted on the Call of Duty World War II subreddit some information on modes, most specifically talking about what modes to expect, uh, the idea behind the development of the modes and the maps, and you know how basically there was a limited amount of modes in Call of Duty World War II, the explanation behind why that was, and then they talked a little bit about what modes to expect in the future, and then the big question that I think a lot of people were asking was, well, what about Ground War 9v9? Will it be coming back? And he did give some info on that. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys find it informative. If you guys could do me the huge favor of dropping a like on the video, it really does about, it is appreciated. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys do subscribe so you don't miss content coming in the future and hit your on notifications so you'll be notified of every upload, live stream, and more. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this. Now, the big information here is probably going to be a little bit about Ground War, but before before we jump into that information and also I will link by the way in the description below the actual subreddit post uh, but basically he talked about how there was barely a lot of modes in Call of Duty World War 2 I was so limited and the reason why it was a good thing now he said that the development behind maps you have to take a lot of things into account from the modes you're gonna be playing uh, to uh, the spawn rate and stuff like that uh, they talked about how the spawn rate was actually one of the best they've had in franchise history which is awesome good for them uh, but basically they were saying yo when we make these maps we need to to take into account a ton of different factors of different modes and so because of that that when you're trying to design the best map you can with the setting the era making it appropriate and fun sometimes you need to make sacrifices like not having certain modes because it's only going to be jumbled up and crazy and it won't make any sense so uh, kind of the idea or the reason behind that we didn't have a ton of modes in call of duty world war ii was because of the modes themselves if you know they were trying to get as many modes as they could in there at the same time while trying to keep the maps era appropriate and theme appropriate and also just the just aesthetics of the map themselves so it kind of is a little bit ironic that the designs of the maps are what caused us to have more limited mode in the game uh, so definitely that's the reason why we had that and they said that that's the reason why they had uh, you know such a limited amount of modes at the launch of this game but then he went on to talk a little bit about post launch he said that there was a lot of excitement from the return of gun game in call of duty world war 2 with the addition of gun game and the return of that to call of duty which is really awesome i saw a lot of people who were very very excited about gun game but you know at this point it kind of feels a little bit weird it doesn't really feel that special anymore uh gun game that is in my personal opinion i'm just i've not been a huge fan of gun game uh, i enjoy it but you know it doesn't bring me as much hype as other modes that i've played or even experimental modes like modes that were in infinite warfare that maybe some of you guys are able to play we'll talk about that a little bit here but uh first of all let's go ahead and talk about that basically they were saying there was a lot of excitement with gun game and that they're going to be looking into other modes to bring back and they did even mention infected so aquacondry talking about infected how it's a fan favorite he doesn't mention if it's coming all he does is say that it's a fan favorite which i'm assuming maybe he's hinting that we might be getting infected uh, but then again you know gun game was here now it's gone it's uh, kind of it's weird it's weird that you know they add the mode and then take it away it was a staple in call of duty black ops 3 and then after a while they just took it out of the game and started bringing it back every once in a while which i don't know why they uh, why they did that honestly there's a lot of conspiracy theories that could go into that but i'm not going to uh, but yeah, i just thought it was a little bit strange that gun game was a permanent thing in black ops 3 and then became like a on and off type thing and same thing in call of duty world war 2 why would they not leave it in i don't know if maybe it's like to have the engagement up and people excited when the mode is out maybe that's why but i just thought it was a little bit weird so also guys do me a favor i'm gonna put a poll on screen i want you guys to vote are you guys even excited by gun game anymore because we've been getting it on and off in call of duty it doesn't feel that special to me anymore so vote are you even excited when you hear about gun game the poll will be on screen anyway so now with that out of the way i also wanted to talk about this because you know the mentioning of me saying i'm not really as excited you know with post launch we might be getting a bunch of stuff like he mentioned infected maybe we'll get some experimental stuff and i really hope they go in that direction because you know one of the things that infinite warfare did despite its flaws its drawbacks despite the very horrible reception that it got upon release they did a lot of experimenting with modes they had gesture warfare they had hyper tdm they had the special variant drop zone which was really 
really cool and you know they, they just they were thinking outside of the box and you know maybe the fact that they were a futuristic advanced movie call of duty allowed them to play around and do this kind of stuff but you know with infinite warfare it felt like you know every month or every three or four weeks or every two weeks they had a new mode that was circling in or an experimental mode they were putting in there you know similar to what fortnite is doing right now which is why it's so popular you know infinite warfare was doing that and it constantly had me going back and playing used to try out these modes and you know a lot of people you know gave it a shot because of those weird crazy modes that some people hated them because they said it wasn't call of duty anymore but you know first and foremost it's got to be a fun and exciting mode and i think that hyper tdm gesture warfare when they had the drop zone with the supply drop variants i thought that was really cool you know maybe the limitations of it being a past call of duty of it being a world war ii setting maybe it'll limit what michael Condry and sledgehammer games can do with future modes but in fact it would be an awesome start i really want to see you know even if they just put zombies in there like the ones they use the models uh, from the zombies mode that would be pretty sick but i mean let me know what do you guys would like to see what modes leave them in the comment section below if michael Condry sees the video he'll have some feedback on you know what modes you guys would want to see but anyways now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and talk about ground war i think that's the biggest one that maybe you guys are you know want information on is it coming back why wasn't it in the game from launch well here's the thing michael Condry said that ground war presented a very difficult situation in that the spawn zones or the areas that you spawned in were too hectic too crazy and because of the way that the maps were designed it just it made it basically impossible to have the ground war game mode in call of duty world war ii so basically i think what he was trying to say was the since the maps are smaller and the way that they were designed to be played as a 6v6 if you were to add 9v9 it would get too crazy and the maps wouldn't have good flow uh, so i don't know this could there could be honestly that controversy right there where people say that the spawn points and like the spawns are already messed up anyways and you know you could make the argument that ground war is a mode where it's supposed to be hectic and crazy so it doesn't matter i don't know but they said that they're gonna keep looking into it it's not officially dead and you know they're not saying straight up like yo it's never coming uh they said they're gonna be looking into it and see what they can do but i think we're not gonna see ground war maybe not now maybe not at the moment maybe like four or five months from now maybe they'll add it but uh, i i just i don't see them adding it right now because of the explanation that they gave where you know if it's not perfect they're not gonna put it in the game and it's gonna be very difficult to try to make a 6v6 map into a 9v9 map so we'll definitely see uh what do you guys think about that would you want to see ground war even if the spawns are messed up just to see, see how crazy it can get i don't know uh but that you know that's the reason behind that so you know apart from this michael Condry had a separate post on twitter where they talked about changes that are coming to call of duty world war 2 specifically about weapons and stuff like that uh, i might make a video on that let me know if you guys would want to see that but basically they're thinking about buffing the fg42 they're looking into the m1 garen because people are saying that it's a terrible weapon like the pros are saying it and they're thinking about nerfing that which kind of sucks uh, they're going to be planning on nerfing the car 98 uh i don't know i don't know i really like that weapon so i'm really bummed about that and you know basically that was the big the gist of it they're thinking about nerfing and buffing some stuff and they're actually thinking also about buffing the stg 44 which is already a sick ass weapon so i kind of thought that was a little bit weird but uh, hey i'm all, i'm all for a buffed up super awesome stg 44 uh, but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy the information want to talk about ground war some modes what to expect the reason behind there were so few modes in call of duty world war 2 so hopefully this did shed a little bit of light and i want to thank michael Condry for actually being transparent and giving us information because a lot of people were asking about ground war why it wasn't in the game and if it was even coming to the game so michael Condry, thank you so much for the openness and the transparency hopefully we do end up seeing that in the future because i was a huge fan of ground war in previous call of duties and i really hope it does come back hopefully they find a way to make it work but thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy the information hopefully the video was informative if you, if you guys did enjoy the video if it was informative make sure you guys do drop a like on the video it does about it is very much appreciated if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more content like this i have more call of duty fortnite content coming so make sure you guys do subscribe and you turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video or a live stream that's coming in the future thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys next time follow me on twitter best place to talk check out my gaming channel and second channel links to those in the description below i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace hey guys so the video is over just wanted to take a second here to thank my awesome sponsors tankless mitchell amazing red and beast grenade i wanted to thank them for joining the sponsor squad and supporting the channel it's very much appreciated and i also am thinking about doing like these little bloopers towards the end where you know crazy stuff happens sometimes i'll add them to the end of videos let me know if you guys would want to see maybe more stuff like this towards the end uh, but anyways hopefully you guys enjoy these bloopers my dog was going off so uh, tell me what you guys think i'm out and also guys do me the favor i'm gonna put up shh stop dino but anyways guys shh
Are you guys down here? And anyways, guys, also do me the huge favor. I'm gonna put a. I don't know. Also, guys, by the way, okay. No. Dino, shut up. Vote if you guys. What the hell is he even barking at? And because of the, what the hell is he barking at this time? Dino, stop.